Scott Pilgrim vs. the World is one of the coolest movies I've ever seen. Can Scott Pilgrim Takes Off match that? Let's talk about it. What's up, Flick fans? Welcome back to the channel. Whether you're new to this universe, you've seen the original movie, you've read the graphic novels, I believe this is a series that everyone can watch. And once you see it, I need to know down below, what's better, the movie, the novels, or this show. And we know the story. Scott's life is turned upside down when he meets Ramona Flowers, an American girl who is recently single. But before their love blossoms, Pilgrim finds himself challenged by his love's seven previous relationships and must defeat them in over-the-top fashion. This series is rated TV mature. Get your violence, a little bit of language in there, some sexual things, all the things that the adults want in a Scott Pilgrim series. Aston, it's animated. Yeah, but it's, it's Scott Pilgrim. It's for everybody but young children. I feel like there's gonna be division with this one between the fan base and then between the fan base and the outsiders, those who don't know anything about Scott Pilgrim. They're like, oh, what is this, an anime? That's kind of cool. They watch the story and they have a great time with it. Now, there's one question lingering in my mind and that's kind of my main criticism with this show is that it is somewhat missing something for most of the series. And that is, I'm not gonna spoil anything here, but that is Scott Pilgrim. He's not in this Scott Pilgrim show as much as I would want Scott Pilgrim to be in it. Scott Pilgrim. Stop it. Get some help. That's a little disappointing. I love hearing Michael Sarah's voice as this character. It throws me back to the movie, in which I loved. And again, obviously in my brain, I'm going to be making comparisons as we go. The very first episode, it is the movie. It's basically from start to finish of that episode, following the beats of where the movie is up until that point. And... While I do like the live-action version of it better, it is cool to see this in a different style. To see this animation come to life that doesn't quite give you the facial expressions and facial features that you get from uh, the human characters in the movie, but it's still really cool to see this done in a different way. But I'm thinking to myself by the end of episode one, is this just going to be a rehash or are we going to do something different? And thankfully, episode two, it goes off in a very different direction. And the direction that it goes in makes Ramona Flowers the main character for, uh, I'd say, the majority of episodes, because where Scott Pilgrim is requires our other characters to try and figure out this new mystery that has come about that separates itself from the story that we know. Now, we still get the evil exes. We still get the characters that we know. We still get Kieran Culkin. You know what? He just left. Again, Wallace is a good character. You have Matthew Patel, Knives Chow, Todd Ingram, Lucas Lee. Chris Evans is in here. Hilarious. I really, I really like the fact that they're bringing it there all like they did with their live action roles. Everyone, everyone is good. But again, because of the lack of Scott, you have a lot of time with Mary Elizabeth Winstead as Ramona, who is at the forefront of trying to figure out this bigger issue that has come about. A little more time with Wallace, I would say, and Knives, I think, gets a lot more to do. And this new story really focuses on the movie that they're making, the project that they're working on. How did we get a hold of this script? How did that happen? And where is <laughs> Scott? I keep going back to that, but that's the question I was asking, too. Even though... I think there's a lot of charm within this new story. And what they do here, almost creating this multiversal type of thing, it's like, that's what happened there. Here's what's going to happen here. That's really cool. And the fact that it's not a rehash is great. But you're leaving out, you know, maybe the most integral piece of this story as a whole. And we get back to it a little bit. Eventually, it's there. But I just, I wanted more. Michael Sarah, I wanted more of that thought process. What's going on on that side of things? And unfortunately, the decision that they make here for the new story that they follow, it just kind of leaves out what feels like the most integral piece. And, you know, that did bring my hype and excitement down because I'm spending two to three episodes going, what happened to, where's, uh, you know. Where are you? The animation, it's solid. It's a lot different than what I expected initially when they announced this project. I knew it was going to be anime style, and it is. I could have used a little more emotion at times, but in terms of, you know, the colorful battles that we get, seeing those vegan powers come to life in animated form, that's really cool. And specifically, seeing the locations, especially in the latter half of the season, and I'm like, okay, that is really cool. And really where the story goes, you know, there's a two to three episode span where... I'm enjoying it, but I'm kind of sitting and waiting on 
what's going to happen, and, and I need some sort of nugget to tell me where this is going, because it just felt a little aimless for about two to three episodes. Then you get some kind of reveal, not going to say what it is. I don't even know if the graphic novel readers know what's coming. I don't think anyone knows what's coming, but it's really cool. And that's when I started to warm back up on what this was doing prior to that and what it is doing for the final two to three episodes. And I actually really appreciated what they did there. It's just so different than what I expected. But that being said, I, I think that may, that may be a good thing. Nice. And that's where you're going to see that disconnect. A lot of people, they're just not going to be able to let go of that original story. And I don't blame you. Scott Pilgrim versus the world, again, is spectacular. The movie is like one of my higher rated movies of that decade. So I love it. But I did want this to do something different. Whether it worked or not, I appreciate the fact that it took risks. And eventually, inevitably, the story started to come together and it did, at the end of the day, pay off because I was really satisfied with the conclusion, with the lessons that our characters were learning along the way. Again, Michael Sarah is great, but this entire cast crushes it for the most part. And I started to really feel the heart as we got to the end of the series. And it really started to shine through through the animation and the dialogue. And all the creators came back to work on this animated show. That is very evident because say what you will about the direction of the story the fact that it lacks this or that the heart shines through these characters their emotions are kept intact they are who we know from the other series it's just a very different incarnation but uh i respect the fact that they went for it i, I like that not many netflix shows do that and the standout new moments where it's lucas going in and fighting off the paparazzi you get this crazy epic battle scene the new moves that we see with some of our characters. And you don't get to explore the evil exes as much past the first few episodes, uh, but you get some different moments with them, and they are memorable. So before I give you my score of Scott Pilgrim Takes Off, what's your favorite version of this story so far? If you if you like this video and you want to drop a thumbs up, that, that that's helpful. And come back for more reviews, man. We're reviewing everything, literally everything. Funny enough, this series needed more of an impact from the title character himself. Even with certain shortcomings, the final product is beautifully animated, exciting, from start to finish, and one that begins to thrive towards the latter half, and I ended with a smile on my face. And that's all that you can ask from a project like this, one that's made with a lot of passion. You could tell that. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'm reviewing Thanksgiving. I want to watch next goal wins. We'll see what happens. It's a long weekend. See you soon.